everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to make a mood board using Adobe Photoshop. So if you have access to Adobe Photoshop at home, whether on a laptop or on your computer or on an iPad or whatever, this will work great for you. If not, you can use Adobe Spark and I have another video on how to do that. Or you can also use Photopea, which is just like Photoshop, but runs on a Chromebook. Um, we're using Adobe Photoshop CC for this video though. So I've got Photoshop open and I'm going to say File New. And then I'm going to open up the Print template section and I'm going to create a letter sized document. Letter is just the size of a normal piece of paper. So here I have my blank document with a white background. Feel free to change it to black if you would like. I'm going to keep mine as white. And what I want to do is to add 10 pictures um, that are different sources of inspiration for me to help me define my style uh, from 10 different uh, people or photographers or artists or whatever. So I'm going to open up Chrome. We'll go to Google Images and we'll just search for something. So let's say that uh, that Nick Fancher is a source of inspiration for me so I can Google image search him. I'm always going to click on tools and change the size to large because that's just who I am. Uh, and then I'm looking for a picture that I would want to work towards as part of my style. So you can scroll as far as you need to. Maybe I like this one. Um, so make sure it's high res by looking at the numbers down there in the display when you hover over the picture. Make sure they're at least over a thousand. And then you can open the image in the new tab by right clicking it. You can right click it, hit copy image, go back to Photoshop and control or command V to paste it. You can then use your move tool to move it around. You're probably not going to want to have it this large. Um, so you can transform it to make it a little bit smaller. If you're smart and you want to go an extra step, you can right click your layer and convert it to a smart object. That way, no matter how big or how small you make it, uh, it will always be a high resolution image, which you could run into a problem if you make it really small and then you want to make it bigger of it losing some of its original resolution. Um, so we've got it there. We can move it wherever we want it to go. Um, let's let's find another one. Let's say that I want to add a picture from casual time travel. So same thing using Google Images. Uh, I've got it set to large. We'll find a picture that we like. Maybe I like the colors on this one. Make sure it's high res by checking out the dimensions. Open the image in a new tab. Right click to copy it. Go back to Photoshop. Control V to paste. If you want to make it a right click the layer and make it a smart object and then you can put it wherever you would like. Uh, another thing you can do if you have a picture that's already saved on your computer is you can say file and you can say place embedded. You can search around to find a picture that you want to add. Um, I'm just going to add this one and then hit place. It will automatically be a smart object when you place it. And then you can hit control or command T to transform it to size it around to make it smaller. Um, and then you're just moving these around uh, to try to arrange them. Remember, you need 10 different pieces uh, from 10 different sources. So you have to make them small enough so that they will all fit. Um, you can work on it a little bit at a time if you choose to. And by the way, I don't know if they uh, go off the edge or something. So if yours do, I won't know the difference because I haven't seen the original. Um, but make yours small enough that you can fit at least 10. Try to align them so they work out perfectly. I don't want to see any white space. I don't want to see any black space. Uh, make them all fit perfectly. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Um, when you're all done, File, save as, change the type to JPEG, save it wherever you would like. Um, if you take a break without finishing, file, save as, and make sure it's set to Photoshop. So you can save a PSD that will keep your layer so you can go back and work on it later. Uh, turn in your finished version when you're done and make sure to write me a comment uh, explaining what you did. That is how to make a mood board using Adobe Photoshop. Thanks, have a great day.